thing to do with any retrofit, in this case, a Morimoto Mini retrofit, is to park the car about 20 feet from a flat wall. From there, we're gonna turn the halogen headlamps on and we're gonna mark the cutoff and the steps in the headlight pattern. From there, we remove the headlights for disassembly. Once you've got the reflector ball outside of the headlight, make sure you remove any miscellaneous hardware like the glare shield and the bulb holder here. Once you've done that, you can choose to paint the reflector ball if you like. And once you unpa unpack the H1 Morimoto Mini 6.0, you notice the bulb holder and the lock ring are pre-installed. You'll have to remove those. Should just be one screw on the back to remove the bulb holder. That will come right off, as will the lock ring. And for installation, you'll notice there's two sets of hardware. This is H7 hardware for an H7 based headlamp. This is H4 hardware. Since it's an H4 headlamp, you can use the H4 silicone washer. Make sure you install the solenoid down at 6 o'clock into the reflector bowl. Guide the wires through like so. Projector mounts like this. You want to orient the wires down the bottom like that. Okay. Next goes the H4 adapter plate. This notch on the top will follow the channel on the threaded shaft on the back. It sits just like that. Then comes the lock ring. And do note, this is made of a pretty soft aluminum material. It's designed to deform a bit when you fully tighten the lock ring onto the, thre onto the threaded shaft. Once you get it tightened down, take a large socket and tighten it down the rest of the way. Again, be careful during installation that before you finish everything up, you don't want to tighten this on too tight because it will stay. Now that we have the projector installed into the reflector bowl, next is to install the bulb holder. You'll notice it has three feet that orient in the back of the projector. Make sure the feet are seated properly inside the back of the threaded shaft, like so. And it's best to use a magne magnetic screwdriver as well so you don't have to fumble with the screws. Each package does include extras just in case. Now that we have the projector installed into the reflector ball, here's some quick tips before you complete your installation. With the soft lock ring on the back, be sure that you don't tighten it down until you're completely finished with the installation because it will deform intentionally to hold the projector in place. Also, before you complete the installation and install the reflector ball back in the headlight, use a soft microfiber towel to clean any fingerprints, dust off of the surface of the lens. Also during installation, make sure you don't bump the solenoid assembly or the cutoff shield to ensure its proper function for long-term use. Also, we recommend using a 9-volt battery or an assembly something like this to test fire the solenoid to ensure proper function. You're going to want to test fire this 30 to 40 times to be absolutely sure before you seal everything back up that it works properly. You'll be able to hear and see the shield move and ensure that it's not stuck. And again, you want to do this 30 or 40 times to make sure it's functioning properly before you seal back up your headlights.